Yeah, hello, my name is Martin Schüle and I will introduce now uh, Jolla running Selfish OS. So first of all, let's have a look to the industrial design. So the industrial design features two, two halves. So the upper part featuring the display part, it has an aluminium frame, uh, anodized so that it, it gets a really nice uh, surface treatment. Uh, keys uh, have then a, a glossy finish and then there's the other half on the other side. So um, we got inspired here actually by the inner structure of, of the device. So phones are built via layers. And this is also what we reflect in our industrial design. But now let's have a look to the uh, UI and the uh, OS itself. So to unlock the device, you simply double tap on the, on the screen. You enter the lock screen. There are missed notifications here, some, some status information underneath. You flick, you flick the screen up, you enter the home view. It features all of your running applications, one row of installed apps and there can be multiple pages underneath. At the end, you see the store from where you can actually install more applications. We are moving away from uh, tapping on tiny buttons. So instead we use the whole screen, estate and, and gestures. So let me show you. So I open one application here, like notes application. And then from the sides, I'm able to push the app away and enter once again. The home view. So here again, so if I uh, open the calendar application, I'm able to push it away and view the information on, on the home view and the device status information here, here on top. I can go, go also once again back without leaving the application or continue the push and go back to the home view. Furthermore, um, we aim at the integration of service content and functionalities and for instance on our events view which can be um, opened here from the bottom we, we display all your missed uh, emails all these missed notifications on top and then feeds from various services now you can actually view them but even more you can really reply to them you can like them directly you can write comments to the Facebook entry without waiting until the Facebook app is being opened. The camera is a, a 8 meg megapixel camera, autofocus camera on, on the back side. Uh, what I would like to show here um, in, in our gallery, we have also integrated uh, 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 content from uh, services like, like Facebook. You can view all the Facebook albums here. Again, there's no need to go anywhere else. I can flick through the images. I see the comments. I can directly like or comment the, the content. In order to navigate um, here from sub views to main views, there's no need to tap on a tiny button anywhere on the, on the screen. Instead, I can just drag the whole screen, the whole view and push it back and enter the, the home view. Now, with this kind of uh, gesture usage and the nature of a home view, we can do actually really uh, fascinating things. Like, let me play the, our product video. So here, while the video is being played, I'm actually able to, to access the events view, check out the latest views, or even more, I'm able to go back to the home view the cover is being updated and the video continues playing there. Now in Sailfish, actually this kind of covers can feature shortcuts. And now the, the video playback features a pause button, which enables me to pause or continue the, uh, playing the video directly on, on the home view. Gallery also um, enables me to change the ambience. So if I just become in a different mood, I can select an, another photo, use our poly menu here on top and create a new ambience. And now the, the colors and the font colors all change according to the selected photos. In messages applications, um, we have created and also integrated uh, IM and SMS into one conversational view. So I tap here, for instance, on, on chain. Now you see there are SMS messages. And in the same 
conversation, we also integrate Facebook messages. Now when Jane is, is online, I can actually just chat with her by using Facebook chat. Now pay attention to here to the top, you see those indicators. So there's one indicator on, on the really left side. It means there's a main view on the left side. One in the middle is being highlighted. That's the current view I'm, I'm in. And then there's one more on the right side. It means I can push the whole view to the right side and access Jane's uh, contact card. And that enables me to change the communication method uh, or check out additional information about Jane. And now, if I would like to go back to the main view, I simply flick the whole view back and I'm back on the, uh, the main view. We also spoke about um, the apps and what is supported. So uh, these are now apps based on Sailfish SDK, but we are also able to run Android apps, which you can download from other stores like um, QQ. So QQ is an IM service, which has meanwhile 700, uh, more than 700 million active accounts. Okay, now, uh, closing applications, you just do a long press on the home view, you can close them one by one or use the pulley menu to close all of them. Now on the lock screen, if you actually wait for a while, it will come black and the device gets locked. So thanks for watching, so join us on Jolla.com.